Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and let's begin building the Polar Express in Minecraft. So this is going to be a tutorial on the steam locomotive, the Pier Market 1225284, at least that's what it's based on. It's a Berkshire type steam locomotive, and this train, the Polar Express, is used to transport kids to the North Pole on Christmas Eve, based on the movie. And it carries uh, five of these passenger cars, which I did do a tutorial on including one observation car in the back. So check that out if you haven't already. And uh, this is uh, basically like a hybrid between the movie Polar Express version and the real life Pure Market 1285. I just added a couple of new things like the number plates up over here and also the road number here on the side. Uh, in the actual movie, there's actually nothing here. So I decided to add it just to make it look a little better and you can see right over here, this is my old version of it. The 2017 variant where we have a gray color scheme. It's using the hopper wheel. So this is severely outdated. So this is the redesign of that. So sorry, it's been actually four years since then. So it's been a long time coming. But anyways, uh, let's begin on this tutorial. So first off, we we'll grab some materials. Let's take out another brick stairs, another brick wall. Uh, what else? Another brick slab, black concrete, dark oak button, uh, dark oak trap door and fence gate. Uh, we'll also take a chain uh, and an iron bar. So that's it for now. So we're going to be building one half of it. I know you guys, some people, they complain. Why do you always build one half of the locomotive? That's because it takes a lot of time to do one side and Doing both sides will take double the amount of time, so I'm just saving myself time. But anyways, let's begin. First off, we'll take out another brick stairs, and we're going to place that uh, in the middle of the tracks for the plow. And we want to make the side one cornered, like that. And then we'll add in a pair of upside down another brick stairs here. Black concrete on the outer edge. Dark oak fence gate in the middle. Dark oak bun to the side. And then up here, we'll add in uh, another brick stairs, a pair like that, another brick wall here to the side. And then iron bar, two blocks tall. And then in the front here, we'll add a chain, make it two blocks wide. And at the topmost bar, we're going to add to the side of it dark oak trap doors. I'm going to crouch in midair to place it two blocks wide like that. And then we'll go uh, right in the middle here. We're going to add in three black concretes. And then another brick slab. And then black concrete. Another brick block. Three black concretes. Another brick block. Three black concretes. Another brick block. Black concrete. And down below we'll add in two dark oak trap doors. Then another brick slab. Then to the track here, we'll add in black concrete, dark oak fence gate in the middle. And on top, we'll add in black concrete, top of the fence gate. And then two upside down, another brick stairs. And then we'll add in another brick wall, and then two black concretes. Right behind, and down below, we'll add in another brick slab. And we're going to make this go all the way to the edge. And we're going to make it go two blocks more. Then this top section here, we're going to add in five. So one, two, three, four, five slabs. And we're going to make the last one a double. Like that. Then we're going to make this part 17 blocks long with black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Add in another brick block here. A dark oak slab. And a dark oak uh, fence gate underneath. Alrighty. And to this side, we'll add in another brick slab. Upside down, another brick stairs. And another brick slab underneath that. Okay, then we'll add in black concrete, three blocks wide here. 
In the middle, we'll add in a smooth quartz slab. On top, we'll add black concrete. Behind, we'll add black concrete, and then we'll add in a 2x2 two two black concrete right there. Then this outer edge, we'll add in three blocks tall of black stained glass pane. And we'll add in a dark oak button down below and a birch button above like so. All right, then um, let's go back to the front. All right, so in the front, we'll go behind this nether brick wall, added another brick stairs, nether brick stairs on top, dark oak trap door behind it. Dark oak fence gate on top, facing towards the back. And down below here, we'll add in uh, three black concretes. One, two, three. Then we'll add another brick wall, black concrete. And down here, we'll add two nether brick slabs. A dark oak uh, fence gate here. A dark oak trap door behind it. And up here, we'll add in another brick stairs facing the back and another brick stairs on top facing the front. All right, and then we'll go over here, add in another brick wall, another brick slab, and then black concrete, three blocks tall. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna make um, this top section of black concrete. So it's 15 blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, like so. And then we're gonna extend this bottom section of black concrete all the way across here. And then we'll add black concrete to the side here, make it go all the way across again. Then we're gonna add in um Upside down, nether brick stairs underneath in the bottom corners. Make this go all the way across like that. And I'm gonna make it go all the way across the top section as well. Then we'll go off in the front, add in uh, another brick stairs right here. And then we'll add in a bell on the top. And then we'll take an item frame place that right there and a yellow glass pane inside of it all right then on top we'll take a wither skeleton skull put it in the corner here so it's diagonal another wither skeleton skull right here in the middle another brick slab and then we'll skip three blocks add another another brick slab and then we'll skip two blocks and three nether brick slabs and then put another brick slab right at this edge here and then we'll go next to this nether brick slab. We're going to turn this to black concrete with dark oak trap doors on top. And then we'll add in, um, we'll skip a block down here, add in a row of three dark oak uh, fence gates. We're going to open all that up. We'll also go up here, add an iron bar right here to the side. Skip a block, add a acacia button. Down over here, add an iron trap door. Another brick slab. And go right over here underneath the middle fence gate. We'll add in upside down another brick stairs. We're gonna make it four blocks long. And the front of that will add in iron trap doors all the way across like that. And then we'll go to this back section here. We'll add in five blocks long of polished black stone brick. So one, two, three, four, five. Go down here and add in two. Uh, polished blackstone stairs next to each other and then another five blackstone brick that goes past it like that and we can add in blackstone brick next to it at the very bottom like that then we'll add in this magma block with this oak trap door in the front of it and hopefully this doesn't burn I don't know if in vanilla minecraft this thing burns if it does burn, then I guess don't put a magma block. <laughs> Anyways, next we'll add in black concrete, two blocks tall on top. And then black concrete, make it go all the way back to there. Uh, then we'll skip a block, add in another brick 
uh, I mean a wither skeleton skull here, and then skip a block, add another brick slab here, get three along like this, and make this part two blocks wide, and then we'll go here to the side, add in three black concretes, uh, two dark oak trapdoors here. And then uh, another brick stairs, all the way across here. Uh, black concrete underneath this trap door. And the other black concrete, and we're going to make this go all the way to the front. And then we'll add in upside down, another brick stairs in this corner. And another one facing it from the other direction like that. And then four, another brick stairs. So one, two, three, four. And then another brick slab. Then we'll add in uh, another brick slabs all the way across right here from the middle. And then we're going to uh, cap it off right here, some more another brick. Like so. And then we'll add in this um, gray stained glass block, two blocks long. Black concrete. And then four black concretes underneath it. Then take a dark oak bun. And then we're going to add two here, another two on the other side, and then two birch buns in the middle. Then we'll go on the inside of this, add in black concrete right there. And uh, we're going to make a two by three black concrete for the floor. Then in the inside, there's going to be a dark oak slab. So dark oak slab for the chair. And a dark oak trapdoor to close that up behind it. And then we can add in um, a 2x2 two two of dark oak trapdoors here. Take a black carpet and we're going to add it right above that 2x2. Two two. And we'll add in uh, two black glass panes right at the back of the cab. Alright, then we'll go... Um, Right to this side, we'll add in a dark oak fence gates, three blocks long. And then another brick fence. And then two iron trap doors. At the bottom here, three more dark oak tra uh, fence gates. Another brick fence. And then dark oak fence gates, uh, four blocks long. And then another brick fence. And above this section here, we'll add in black carpet all the way across this walkway. Right there to the front. Alright, then we'll move down over here. And we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here. And then two dark oak trap doors. And then we're going to make the driving wheel. So the driving wheel shape is going to look like this. So we're going to take out another brick stairs, go right over here, and we'll skip block, add an L shape, so it looks like an L, another brick stairs, and we're going to add two upside down on either side of it, a right side up, right there on top, and then two upside down another brick stairs on either side of it, you want to make sure they're facing towards inside. Then um, at the top, I'll add in the corners, another brick stairs facing outwards. And then another brick stairs upside down facing like that, like the backwards L shape. So the bottom is an L shape, while the top one is a backwards L shape. Just remember that. And we're going to have four of these driving wheels. So we're going to repeat this uh, three more times, and they're all sort of touching each other. All right, so once we have all four wheels like this, uh, let's take out a uh, birch fence gate here, stone brick wall, stone brick stairs, smooth stone slab, and another one at the top. Just have a gap in between. And upside down, another brick stairs, a uh, birch fence. At the bottom, we'll add in three dark oak, I mean, three iron trap doors. And then another stone brick stairs here. And then two smooth stone slabs like that. And then iron trap door. Two blocks like that. 
And then we're going to make a 2x4 of iron trap doors. So it goes to the middle of the back wheel. Now we're going to go on the inside part. And we're going to add in black concrete uh, right at this front section in the middle. And I'm going to make this go all the way across the middle right there to the firebox. And then we'll go inside this nook here, add in uh, two black concretes sides, fill in that hole. Then we'll add in end rods. We'll put that uh, right over here. And we'll make this go all the way to just before the iron bar that's in the front. All right, so right there, that's where it should end. All right, so then we're going to go underneath this firebox, add in hopper to the side of this. Another brick slab, two blocks here. Uh, two blocks here. And then we'll add in um, dark oak trap door right at this edge here. Add in another brick slab. Uh, let's see, two blocks long here. Another brick stairs. And then another brick stairs upside down. And then another brick stairs facing the back. Then we'll add in uh, back to back another brick stairs for this bigger wheel. And then we're going to delete the slab here, add in two dark oak fence gates like that. And then another brick slab. Dark oak fence gate open it up towards that slab. Then we'll add in two nether brick slabs on the inside of this. And dark oak fence gate here, open that up. Then we're going to add two nether brick fences here. Dark oak fence gate down below. And then two more nether brick fences here. Like so. Then we'll go back to these coupling rods, go up here, add in two nether brick stairs facing towards the front, and then a dark oak trap door. I'm going to make this go all the way across to that fence gate, like that. All right, so now I'm going to work on the tender. Let's go right here, add another brick slab, nether brick stairs upside down, nether brick slab underneath, nether brick stairs on top. Then we'll add another brick slab here. And then five upside down nether brick stairs. So one, two, three, four, five. Then five nether brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. And then five nether brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five. And then another brick slab. While on the inside of this, we'll add in black concrete all the way across inside. Make sure you don't corner yourself like I just did. Then we'll go back into the front here, add in three blocks tall, black concrete. And I'm going to make this top section go all the way across. And the bottom section go all the way across. Then go to the front, add in three more black concretes. One, two, three. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab. It's going to be three blocks long, black concrete, and then four smooth quartz slabs, then black concrete, fill that in. And fill the inside of this black concrete as well. Then we'll go on this outer edge and we'll add in a dark oak button. So I'm going to make some lines with this. So go right here, skip a block, and make a column like that. Skip a block and keep on doing this every other block till we reach the other side. This may take a while, like so. All right, so then on the top, we're going to add in um, black carpet. I'm going to make it six blocks along the edge. So one, two, three, four, five, six like that. Add black concrete inside of it, two blocks wide like this. Make it go all the way to the back. Add in two more black carpets here. And then five dark oak trap doors in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, like so. 
Then we'll add in um, a 2x2 two two black concrete. Then nether brick stairs, two of them facing towards the front. Nether brick stairs facing towards the back here. And then we'll go to the front of the tender, add in black concrete, another two here. And then uh, another brick wall right there. Uh, another brick stairs facing the front there and facing the back around that wall. And then another brick stairs all across the side. So it connects up with the back. Now this part's going to be filled up with coal. So we'll take a block of coal, fill that in. Like so. And then we're going to make this go dangling down. One like that and another one. And then we can add in black concrete. Uh, this like make a look like a little floor here. Add another one right over here so it makes a wall. Then on top we'll add two black stone pressure plates. And then two black stone slabs. And then another black stone pressure plate. Okay, so now we're gonna add in the wheel. So go down here right to the start of where we have these stairs. Add in black concrete. Skip a block, add another one, skip a block, add another one. And we'll go to the back, do the same thing, starting with the stairs here. There's a bunch of black concretes, and then we'll add on the inside of that uh, dark oak uh, fence gates, like so. And then in the middle of this, we'll add in another brick slab. Same thing on the other one. And then the other side, we'll add another brick slab, so that they stick out. Then we'll add in a hopper to the sides of all the wheels. Like so. And then we're going to go in the front of the tender, add in a dark oak button right there in that corner. Alrighty, so I think that's pretty much it for what we did. The symmetrical areas, now we're going to copy what we did and build the other half. Alright, so once you have both halves of the Polar Express, let's go um, right to the tender here. And we can add in um, a smooth quartz slab here. I'm going to make this three long, then change this to black concrete, and change this black concrete to smooth quartz slab, and I'm going to make this part four blocks long, make this black concrete so we have three and four like that, add in dark oak button so that they are connected like so. And then on this side we'll add in a ladder using dark oak fence gates, four blocks tall, I'm going to make it curved at the top and open up all these fence gates. Then we'll go up into the front, add a dark oak fence gate on the right, open that up, and a dark oak button on the left. Like that. Then on the roof in between these two areas, we'll add in a flower pot. And go back over here, and we'll add in two wither skeleton skulls on that side. Then we'll go to the tender, add in two pressure plates there using blackstone, blackstone slab here, and then pressure plates on either side of that, like that. Then go to the back of this, add in dark oak fence gate, open that up on the right. Then we'll go down below, skip a block away from the wheel, add another brick slab in the middle, and then diagonal on either side. We'll make the other side two blocks longer like that. Then go on the other side, and we'll change up these two slabs into upside down and nether brick stairs, like so. Then we'll go back in the front area here, we'll delete the slab, and the iron trap door behind it, and we'll make it two upside down nether brick stairs, and black carpet on top. Alright, then we'll go underneath the cab here, and behind this nether brick stairs, we actually want to add in a nether brick slab. Make it two blocks wide like that, put back the upside down stairs, and we'll do the other side. Just add in two slabs like that, upside down stairs. 
Now the interior of the cab. Uh, we can add in uh, a button on the upper left. Okay, should button up here in the top corner and another one down here. Uh, dark oak fence gate. Open that up here. A birch button here, in the middle, and another brick fence on the right bottom corner. Like that, and I suppose you can add in uh, the whistle. And the whistle, you could just put a chain right there, up there. Yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build the Polar Express locomotive in Minecraft. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.